going? Where do you think I'm going? Richie's. What's the rush? It's known for ages it with me starting the fire and you haven't set out yet. And I intend to see it stays that way. Oh, can't it wait? No, it can't wait. I need to know he's going to keep his mouth shut. Ian Wright's head, Madonna's mouth. Mm, too easy. No, 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 you need some easy ones. You finish yours? <laughs> Must be joking. I've done the sports round, but I've still got general knowledge to do and name the date. <laughs> Who's that? Mm, you should know her. Well, it's a bit difficult. She's a baby. Yeah, but she's really well known now. Nicole Kidman. Close. Oh, that face really rings a bell. You want to see the corresponding update? Yeah. Uh, you bet. Clothed, I'm afraid. Oh, if you insist. <laughs> it's you. Yep, me, age six months. <laughs> That's it. I thought I recognised the cheeky round. Hey! <laughs> Cut it out. She <laughs> <laughs> better, didn't you? He deserves it. The quiz, eh? Need any help? No, thanks, Terry. I'm a dab hand, you know. I've run loads myself. Yeah, but this time we want you to enter. No surprise. Night out with her. <laughs> no, thanks. I do enough babysitting at home farm. Hey, mind you, weeks worth of free hell would be all right. You might regret that. I'd say you definitely regret that. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> something smells good. I hope you don't mind. I, I thought we could have them for tea. I made a few egg sandwiches as well. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Glory. I've got to be in Hotton in half an hour. <laughs> Cancel business. Oh, well, I can always wrap them up. Uh, fine. I might have a bedtime snack when I get in. Oh, that late? Yeah, afraid so. Duty calls. You don't mind me doing this sort of thing, do you? What do you mean? The scones. No, no, <laughs> of course not. I don't want to be presumptuous. You've been so kind. I would hate you to think I was taking liberties. My dear lady, I can hardly complain with somebody who fills the house with the aroma of home baking now, can I? <laughs> that wasn't the reason I did it. I, I just wanted to repay some of your kindness. I know. There's really no need. You can be candid with me, Eric. If you're not really sure about me staying, I can leave. Don't be silly. <laughs> if I can't help out in a time of need, uh, well, who can? <clears throat> well, if you'll excuse me, I have to go. I'm late enough as it is. Thank you. Hiya. Is your dad in? No, you went out a bit ago. Nowhere. No, why? Is Robert in? Yeah, he's looking after Victoria. So, is it all right if we go inside, then? What for? Just a chat, don't worry, nothing official. Can we go in? <laughs> not too much! It's a souffle you whiskey, not a Yorkshire pudding! <laughs> like this. Could you get that, Scott? Yeah, I'll uh, leave the complicated stuff to you. Come in. Richie, it's Jack Sugden. He wants to know if he can come in. Yeah. Yeah, of course. What do you want, Jack? Can I have a word? OK. Well, in private, if you don't mind. No, I suppose not. We are making dinner, you know. It is important. It's OK. Why don't you two pop next door for a drink? Are you sure? I'm not looking for any trouble. Yeah, it's OK. I'll see you later, yeah? OK. Look, I said this is unofficial, OK? So you don't have to worry about saying anything. It's totally off the record. We've already told you. Why would we want to wreck Richard Carter's car? Revenge. We don't want revenge. We're just glad that Dad's back. We're just going to forget about it and get on with things best as we can. You're very quiet, Robert. Nothing to say, ever. Look, lads, somebody put that window in. Yeah, well, we're sorry, but we're not going to get too upset about that. 
Richie tells me that you and him had a bit of a bust-up the night the car was vandalised. So? Something to do with who started the fire? Look, he was upset, OK. Well, why was that, then? Well, you told Dad that the police weren't looking for another suspect. What do you think that says to us? Look, I did it, right? I trashed his car, I'm sorry. Robert! It's OK. Look, I have told you I'm off duty. I just want to get this sorted before it gets official. Well, I'm sorry. Tell him... Tell him I'll pay for it. All right, then, thanks. I'll leave you to in peace, yeah? I'll let you know what Richie says. Angie? Yeah? The police closing the case. Does that mean they think that Dad did kill my mum? Robert, your dad was tried in the court of law and found not guilty, OK? The police still think he's guilty, though, don't they? As far as we're concerned, the case is closed. I'll let you know what Richie said, yeah? See ya. You really think I'd say anything? I don't know. That's why I'm here. Yeah, well, you can relax. I haven't told anybody. You sure about that? What do you think I am? You think I want to hurt him? What would that say about me and Sarah, Jack? You tell me. Look, I know you hate to admit it, but I did love her. And I respect her memory, and I wouldn't do anything to hurt her children. <sighs> yeah, OK. Sorry. And for what it's worth, I'm glad they've got you back. They need a father. It was a genuine mistake. You didn't know you were up there. Yeah, I know. And he's devastated. Something he's going to have to live with for the rest of his life. I know. So we have to put it behind us and get on with living. I'm off all that. Come with me for a drink, then. What? Will you come with me to the Woolpack and let me buy you a drink? I don't know about that. Put the wagging tongues to rest. If we go in there together, it might start on wagging again. Yeah, but they'd be talking about something positive then, wouldn't they? What do you say? Sorry to bother you. I just thought I'd pop round with these um, wages. Oh, no, I, I couldn't possibly. I already owe you, and I haven't worked a full week. Look, we employ you. If you're ill, then you still get paid. Well, I'm really very grateful, and I will get back to work as soon as I can. There's no rush. Just take your time. Would you like a cup of tea? I've just made some scones. Oh, uh, oh no, I'd love to. I've still got a few farm calls to make. Lambing and all that. Oh, yes, of course. New life. <laughs> well, I just thought, and on my way, and someone said you'd moved in here. Yes, Eric's been very kind. Yeah, just be careful, Gloria. I'm not about to do anything stupid again. No, I meant uh, Eric. Oh, he's the epitome of chivalry. I, I've got my own space, and he's kind enough to share the facilities. As long as you're happy. Does anybody else know about, um, you know, apart from those who had to know, no. Only I'd never be able to hold my head up again. Don't be so hard on yourself, Gloria. Even if they did know, I'm sure they'd all be sympathetic. Yes, but I, I wouldn't want it broadcasting. And I really will pay back Edna's money. Well, I won't say anything, and I'm sure the others know when to be discreet. Don't know about Eric, though. Oh, he's the one person I know I can trust. He's been wonderful. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to see you getting back on your feet. And... <sighs> Well, I better go on. Take care of yourself, Gloria. And thanks for this, Paddy. I really do appreciate it. See you. What did he want? I wouldn't say. Not in front of us, anyway. You shouldn't have left them alone. Well, we wouldn't have done if I thought it was going to be a problem, but it was Richie who asked us to leave. They are hers. They're not! I cut it out of the magazine myself. Look, I'm telling you, they're not Britney Spears' eyes. <laughs> Carlos, whose eyes are these? Christina Aguilera's. See, told you. They're Britney Spears. 
The same colour, I suppose. Carlos, they are definitely Britney Spears' eyes. I'm sorry, Chloe's right. Pint? Uh, yeah, thanks. So that's two pints, Diane, please. Two pints? You are serving beer, aren't you? Oh, yes. Not quite with it, Jack. Life's full of surprises, isn't it, Diane? It's nice to see you both. Really? I'll pull your pints. Yeah. Why don't you just do that? You love Victoria? She's asleep. That's been going a long time. He wants to get away from you, doesn't he? What's that supposed to mean? Ask him if he started the fire. Well, somebody did it. They found him not guilty. So why aren't the police looking for anyone else? I don't know. And I don't care. I'm just glad that Dad's back home again. So am I, but Mum's still dead. I just let her rest in peace. And then will you start going around trashing people's cars? I couldn't help it. Of course you could help it. We don't want the law sniffing around again, do we? All right, I'm sorry. I wish I hadn't have done it. What were you saying to Angie? When? When she went out, you were talking to her. They think Dad did it. We both know that's not true, don't we? Like I said, someone did it. One day we'll find out who. What do you think they're talking about? I don't know. At least they're talking. Doesn't look very convincing, though, does it? Nah, it's better than being at each other's throats. You can't blame them for wanting to bury the hatchet, can you? I hope they're finished. What's up? Are we bad for business? No, on the contrary, you're very good for business. I was just wondering if you wanted another. Yeah, why not? Same again, Jack? Oh, I don't know. I really ought to be getting back to the kids. Oh, no, come on. You got those. It's my turn now. You're all right. Just the one, then. So that's two pints, is it? Yeah, two pints, thanks. Yeah, they both look like they'd rather be somewhere else. Well, I think they probably would, but I admire them for trying. Hey, up, lads. Fancy a refill? No, thanks, Bob. I'm gonna go see Chloe. Cheers. What about you? Put your money away. It's my show. <sighs> I couldn't, after the way Viv treated Carol today. Yeah, she deserved it. I mean, it was Carol that started the whole thing off in the first place. I still can't believe they're having a go at each other like they are. It's supposed to be friends, you know. Yeah, well, it's their scrap, not ours. <sighs> True enough. Hey, to be honest, Terry, I am very relieved it all fell through. Yeah. I didn't want to be stuck in a B&B serving breakfast every morning. My place is on the road, I mean, full time. It's what I know, it's what I do best. So, drinks on me? Oh, if you insist. Oh, thank you. Won't Zeth be wondering where you've got to? Oh, no. I, I left him his tea in the oven. He'll be nodding off in front of the telly by now. Oh, I like that. Yes, Eric's got some lovely stuff. Yeah, he's got some lovely brass and all. Yes, well, it was very nice of you to call. No, only Paddy said you were under a bit of pressure. Did he? Oh, I didn't pry. No, I thought you might just need a bit of support, so... Here I am. Did Paddy say anything else? Not really, why? Nothing. Just curious. Only, um, well, I did wonder why you were living here when you've got that great big house of your own. But then I'm sure you must have a very good reason. Well, yes, I have. I'm selling up. Are you now? I got fed up rattling around like a pea in a drum. I, I, I need a change. You yeah, still, why move in here? Hey, don't tell me there's something going on that I don't know about. Well, I was getting a bit lonely in that big house on my own, and to be honest, I do miss Malcolm. Ah, oh, getting you down a bit, was it? It has such vivid memories. Yeah, oh, well, I can understand that. Oh, is that... Uh... Scones I can smell. Yes. Oh, you're really making yourself at home, aren't you? I like to help out where I can. Eric's been so kind. Oh, Betty has. Would you like one? Well, I never say no to a scone. And uh, if it comes with a nice cup of tea, so much the better. 
Right, well, uh, you just make yourself comfortable and I'll put the kettle on. Right. <sighs> Angie. Nice and cosy. Well, we're making the effort. Glad to hear it. Sit down, please. Do you want a drink? No, no, just a bit of business. Well, it's time I was gone anyway. Actually, it concerns you as well, Jack. It's Rich's car. Robert admitted to putting the window through. You've been up to the farm? Well, yeah, unofficially as a mate, like I said. Look, I'm really sorry. It's OK, don't worry. Look, let's just forget about the whole thing, shall we? Robert has offered to pay for the damage. I said forget it. I don't want any of the kids' monies. I've been through enough. It's very good of you. Yes, it is. And I'm really grateful, but I insist that we pay for any damage. Please, Jack, leave it. You don't owe me anything, OK? You can't just leave it, Richie. Please? <sighs> All right, if that's what you want. Yeah, it is. Right. Well, if that's the business done with and the offer's still open, I might change my mind about that drink. Pint. <clears throat> my shout. Well, I'll say this for you, Gloria Weaver. You can bake a scone. Glad you enjoyed them. And them sandwiches didn't come amiss either. More tea? Oh, go on then, eh? Hey. <laughs> Shame to waste it. <laughs> You've got a nice little setup here, haven't you, Eric? Mm. It's the antiques that make it. Mm. There's, a, there's a few bobs, some of them. You didn't say where you were sleeping. What are you trying to say, Betty? Obviously, I have my own room. Everything is absolutely above board. Oh, I didn't doubt that for a minute, love, but, uh, well, we do live in modern times, don't we? Yes, and although Eric is bang up to date on most things, he has happily maintained some old-fashioned chivalry. Mm, very nice. He's doing this purely out of the goodness of his heart. We were just talking about you, Eric. Your ears must be burning. A visitor. No, not a visitor. A friend. I heard that Gloria was a bit under the weather. I was just telling Betty about selling the house and how much I was missing Malcolm. Oh. And how you very kindly offered her sanctuary. I thought you were going to be late. We finished early for a change. I thought I might enjoy that tea that you prepared earlier. Gloria made some very nice scones today, Betty. I know. We just polished them off not five minutes ago. Yeah, have eaten my scones. And your sandwiches. Well, they'll just put me on till I go home for my tea. Ah, well, do call again sometime. Heat me out of house and home some more. I might just do that, Eric. Now you've got yourself a real little treasure here. See you treat her well. Right then, Betty, I'll just get your coat. Right. Thanks for the pint, and I'm really pleased to see you both in here together. Do you want another? No, thanks. One's enough. I need some food. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, I need the gents. Excuse me. I'm glad you seem to have got it sorted. Yeah. And have a word with Robert, eh? Oh, don't worry. I will. See you. Very in the past, I hope. I never thought I'd live to see the day. Well, go to get on with life, Diane. No sense in dwelling on what you can't alter. Am I part of the past you want to bury? You look in good health to me. Does that mean we can have a chat sometime? Why not? Maybe I should come up to the farm. Dad, what do you think of Carlos? Yeah. Looks a decent sort of a lad. Mind you, better be who's got me to answer to. I really like him. Yeah, you really liked Andrew Fraser. Mm, that was a mistake. I thought Diane and Alan Turner were an item. Yeah, they are. Why? Take a look. It's daytime. More than just friends, I'd say. <laughs> Jack sucked him. <laughs> Can't believe Diane had have two blocks on the go at once. Oh, I can. Uh, maybe she hasn't lost her touch after all. <laughs> we 
years ago, I happened to go in there yeah. by mistake. It's all all these moves walking down the street. What do you think you're doing? Having a drink. Well, whose side do you think you're on? After what him and his girlfriend did to me. It wasn't Terry's fault, love. Well, he must have known. She must have told him. What's going on? What are you doing drinking with these two? I was having a pint with Bob, actually. They've just turned up. Yeah, well, you don't drink with either of them, understand? Come on. That's right. You keep him away from my Bob. We want nothing to do with the pair of you. Viv, please. We're only having a quiet drink. With that cow's fancy man. But why hey, can't you now, just leave? Either you keep your voices down and your arguments to yourselves, or the lot of you can leave now. It's got now to do with us. We were just having a quiet drink. Yeah, well, you're not having a quiet drink yeah, now, are you? you were. Oh, I'm sick of a lot of you. Well, don't blame me. It's her who started it. You brought her here? No, she just turned up. Like, she always just turns up and wrecks people's lives. Looks like we've been relegated to second feature. Yeah, well, I'm happy to leave them too. you would feel like I would you? Never a dull moment, eh? Yeah, you can say that again. Look, thanks for coming down, Jack. I'm glad we did that. Like you say, might have sort a few tongues wagging. Yeah, well, let's hope so. What's happened to us in a year, hasn't it? Too much. I'm just happy we're getting through it despite what's happened. It's good to know we can't like normal human beings again. Yeah. And just so as you know, Andy's secret's safe with me. I hope so. You can depend on that. You better be telling the truth, Richie. In fact, you better take that secret with you to the grave. Because if you ever breathe one word of it to anybody, and I do mean anybody, I'm going to kill you. Understand? 